Welcome back to our channel. Today we're tackling a fun part of English grammar that even native speakers mix up sometimes. These are gerunds and infinitives. Let's dive right into it. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're ready to learn. All right, let's start with the basics. Gerunds are words that look like verbs, but act like nouns because they end in ing. Infinitives, they're the to form of the verb. Both can be used as subjects or objects or even complements, but the tricky part is knowing when to use which. Gerunds are used after certain verbs such as enjoy and avoid. They are also used after prepositions, like in this sentence, and as the subject or object, as we can see in these sentences. Infinitives are often used to express a purpose or a future action, and they follow certain verbs or adjectives. In this sentence, the verb want is followed by an infinitive, and in this sentence, after the adjective difficult. A common mistake is mixing them up after specific verbs. Like you should say, I stopped drinking milk, if you mean you quit drinking milk. However, if you said, I stopped to drink milk, this means you paused what you were doing to drink milk. So it's all about the verb before and the meaning you want to convey. It's your turn. In the comments below, write a sentence using a gerund and another using an infinitive. For some fun, try using the verb love. That's it for our grammar lesson on gerunds and infinitives. If you now find them easier to use, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome lessons. Remember that practice makes perfect, so keep on experimenting with those gerunds and infinitives. Catch you in the next video. Stay cool and curious.